Let's talk about random variables. A random variable x represents a number of values associated with each outcome of a probability experiment. When you say probability experiment, it is any procedure that, that can be infinitely repeated and has a well-defined set of possible outcomes known as the sample space. So the outcome of a probability experiment is often a count or a measure. So the outcome is called a random variable. So a random variable is discrete when it has a finite or countable number of possible outcomes that can be listed. So examples are, so the number of calls and the number of students per class. So a random variable is continuous when it has an uncountable number of possible outcomes represented by an interval on a number line, or these are the measurable quantities. So here are some examples of continuous random variables. So R is spent on coals, the volume of gasoline, and a 21-gallon tank. So a discrete probability distribution lists the possible value the random variable can assume together with its probability. So a discrete probability distribution must satisfy the following conditions. One, the probability must be between zero and one. So meaning there must be no negative probability and there must be no greater than one probability. Next is the sum of all probabilities must be equal to one. If any of these conditions were not satisfied, then the given is not a discrete probability distribution. Let's have this example number one. Construct a probability distribution of tossing two coins. Let X represent the number of heads and construct its histogram. So the first thing that we need to do is to find the sample space or the possible outcomes in tossing two coins. And the possible outcomes are the following. So head, head, there are two heads. Head, tail, one head. Tail, head, so there is one head. Tail, tail, zero heads. Now, let's construct its probability distribution. So we will be needing these two columns for this. So the values of random variable x and the probability of x. Now, the values of random variable x is represented by the number of heads. So the values of random variable x are 2, 1, and 0. So how are we going to find the probability of getting two heads, one head, and no head? What we're going to do is we're going to divide the number of times each number of heads appeared in the experiment by the total number of outcomes. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4 number of outcomes. So the probability of getting two heads in the experiment is 1 over 4 since two heads appeared only once in the experiment. So the probability of getting one head is 2 over 4 since one appeared twice in the experiment and the probability of getting no head is 1 over 4 since 0 appeared only once in the experiment. So let's check if these two conditions were satisfied. So first, check if the probability are between 0 and 1, meaning there must be no negative probabilities and the probability must be 1 or less than 1. So first property, check. Second property, find the summation of this. So 1 fourth plus 2 over 4 plus 1 over 4 is equal to 1. So the second property is also checked. Now let's construct its histogram. So we will be using the first quadrant of the Cartesian coordinate plane. So where x is positive and y is positive. So in the x-axis, we're going to plot the values of the random variable x. So these are 0, 1, and 2. Now in the y-axis, we're going to plot the probability of x. Okay, so 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So 0, the probability is 1 fourth in decimal that is 0.25. So that is between 0.20 and 0.30. So 0, the probability of getting 0 is 1 fourth or 0.25. The probability of getting 1 is 2 over 4 or 1 half in decimal that is 0 0.5. So 1 that is 0 0.5, and the probability of getting two heads is 1 fourth or 0.25 is this. Now, this is its histogram. Now, let's have this example number two. An industrial psychologist administered a personality inventory test for passive-aggressive traits in 150 employees. 
everyone was given a score from 1 to 5 where 1 is extremely passive and 5 is extremely aggressive. A score of 3 indicate neither traits. So the results are shown at the left. Construct a probability distribution for the random variable x, then graph the distribution using histogram. So we have here the random variable x. These are the scores from 1 to 5. And we have the frequency here, 24, 33, 42, 30, and 21, indicates the number of employees that answered 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, respectively. So how are we going to construct its probability distribution? So what we're going to do is we're going to divide each frequency by the total number of employees. So here we have 150 employees. So we're going to find the probability that employees will answer 1 is 24 divided by 150 or 0 0.16. So the probability that the employees will give a score of 2 is 33 over 150 or that is 0 0.22. The probability of getting a score of 3 is 42 over 150 or 0.28. The probability of getting a score of 4 is 30 over 150 or that is 0.2. And the probability of getting 5 is 21 over 150 or that is 0 0.14. Now, since you already have the probabilities, we're going now to put this in the table. So, the probability that the employee will give a score of 1 is this, a score of 2 is 0.22, score of 3 is 0.28, a score of 4 is 0.2 or 0.20, and the score of 5 is 0.14. Now let's check if the two properties for discrete probability distribution were satisfied. So first, the probabilities must be between 0 and 1. No negative, check. No greater than 1, check. So the first property were satisfied. Now the second property is that when we add this, the sum must be equal to 1. So 0.16 plus 0.22 plus 0.28 plus 0.2 plus 0.14 is equal to 1. So the two properties were satisfied. Now let's construct its histogram. So again, in the x-axis, we're going to plot the random variable x so that these are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The scores 1, 2, 3, and 5. And in the y-axis, we're going to plot the probability of x. Okay, so 1 is 0.16, so that is just right above 0 0.15. 2 is 0 0.22, so that is just 2 units above 0 0.2. And 3 is 0 0.28, that is just the other is between 0 0.25 and 0 0.30. 4 is 0 0.2, and 5 is 0 0.40. Now, this is its histogram. Now, let's have this example number 3. Verify the distribution at the left is a probability distribution. So again, the two properties must be satisfied for us to say that this probability distribution or that this distribution is a probability distribution. So let's check if property number one is satisfied. There must be no negative probabilities and the probabilities must be no greater than one. Okay, so each probability is between zero and one. So check. Another one, add this. So when you add this, the summation must be equal to 1. So when you add that, that is equal to 1. Since the two properties were satisfied, then the given distribution at the left is a probability distribution. Now let's have this example number 4. Let's verify whether table A and B are discrete probability distribution. Again, these two properties must be satisfied. So check property number 1 and property number 2 for A and B. So for letter A, obviously that this is not a probability distribution since there is a negative probability. So this is not a probability distribution. Take note that the probability must be between 0 and 1. So there must be no negative probability. So letter A is not a probability distribution. Letter B, property number 1, we're satisfied. All probabilities are between 0 and 1. Let's check condition number 2. So 2 third plus 1 third plus 1 third is actually not equal to 1. That is 1.3333. So therefore, table B is not a probability distribution. So again, for the given distribution to be 
discrete probability distribution, these two properties must be satisfied. Thank you.